So when you were you were in da- you were in Texas, mm-hmm. and then at what point did you say, you know, fuck this? I know you joined the army. Was that to get away from the situation um, with your dad? So my brother decided to join the navy, mm-hmm. and that um, he was like you. So when you join the military, you have to wait like a certain time to get into it. Mm-hmm. What do you, What do you mean? So there's like a waiting time. So you. Oh. You enlist and they're like, okay, so in three months, you, you, you got leave. It. Yeah. Got it. So um, when we were in Texas, he was basically just waiting for. His and did time. your stepdad and know that he had enrolled? And yeah. was he trying to get him to stop or he was he fine with it? No, he was fine with it. Hmm. Yeah. And so me, um, of course, I didn't know what else I would do except for college or join the military. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, I decided to join the Navy. And yeah, at first I was scared, but I was like, this is like the only way. This is my only way out. Mm. And I have to do it. And your stepdad, your stepmom didn't give, they didn't care. They're like, that this is a good path for you. Funny, because um, the day I left for boot camp, um, my, my, my parents couldn't even drive me to the, Wow. to the yeah <laughs> um the last words from my stepdad was don't ever come back here this is not your home really yeah yeah and so he said if you fail boot camp this you're not coming back here yeah so <laughs> he just basically said and your stepmom Bye. co-signed that she was like all she, good i think she she didn't really said goodbye to me I don't know if she was sad or something, but she was just like, okay. Yeah. But. <sighs> that is just be, that is just so cruel. But I can see, do, you probably don't even consider them your family, really. Just like these weird people that you yeah. lived with growing up. Yeah. Gosh. Yeah, and like... Did that um, hurt or were you like, eh, fuck these people? That hurt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it definitely hurt. Um, Because I, I was still like thinking like maybe you know maybe they'll change you know but now i'm just like you know fuck it i don't care mm-hmm. but what back when i was younger i still i still had to had a thought in my mind like maybe they'll change maybe they'll love me as mm-hmm. a daughter because yeah oh that hurts my heart yeah <laughs> did you always feel like you weren't doing something right so like um, they weren't loving you because i mean I don't know. Like I was a kid, so yeah, I don't really understand everything. Yeah. What a fucking dish. <laughs> that is just so cruel, man. So you were like taking like an Uber or something, or getting a ride with somebody. It, it was my recruiter who. <laughs> Your recruiter me. had to come and pick yeah. you up, <laughs> and he yeah. told you that on the way out. Um. Yeah. While my recruiter was waiting outside. So you joined the Navy at 18, I'm presuming. About 17. 17? Yeah. Oh, can you join? I didn't know you could yeah. join at 17. You just got a waiver signed. And they were like, yes. Yeah. And yeah, it was it was fun. I had so much freedom. I feel like the first... Ir- ironic. Yeah. Um, I just remember in boot camp, everybody was like crying because they missed their mom and their wow. dad. Wow. And I was over there and I was like the youngest and I was the tiniest and I'm like, this is the best what? thing ever. Party. Like what? We're in the room. We're all sleeping together. This is like my first time. That is actually so... having a sleepover. I mean, that that's just so, so ironic that you went to the army to gain to your freedom, free. yeah. which is like the kind of it's even like you know, it's almost like a metaphor for losing <laughs> for losing your freedom, right? Yeah, and your individuality. Mm-hmm. But there, you kind of gained that, which kind of just speaks to how fucked up things were for you did you make friends there in the army or the navy yeah yeah like the first, first friends camp, like m- even the people i go uh went to boot camp with i'm still v- really close and that's really with cool. them and in boot camp my first day in boot camp um it was so weird i don't know what to expect and everybody was just like you know like oh uh, we don't know what's gonna happen and shit like that but as soon as we get there there's like people yelling at our faces and then <laughs> next thing you know Someone says, um, who's a soprano? And oh, they like, asked about singing? 
who's a soprano and it, that's literally it that's all the question he asked and everybody was like confused like what the fuck does he mean and i <laughs> i raised my hand i'm like i was a soprano <laughs> and the people around me were confused because like they don't know what a soprano is mm-hmm. and i'm like oh i i was in choir so i uh. it's basically like if you join choir you know what a soprano alto and stuff like that and yeah and he was like okay everybody that raised their hands um let's go to another room and and they took us in another room and he basically said okay so this division you guys are going to be a musical division what and what we'll is- be performing in graduate uh boot camp graduations <laughs> since when does the Ar- the navy have a musical department um i mean it's for um boot camp like graduation like ceremony so oh. when someone you know those people that hold the flag yeah. right yeah so that's basically oh, us wow. and people who play the trumpet so it's like almost <laughs> like god that's just amazing how you know immediately you're making friends you're singing yeah and there's other people that was good at singing with me and mm-hmm. i met people that knew how to play the trumpet <laughs> 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 and like the 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 people that were spinning the rifles and stuff. Mm-hmm. Pretty cool to watch them. Like, practice that. But wow, it was fun because six days of the week, we go through like rough training and stuff. Mm-hmm. And on the seventh day, like every Sunday, we just get to practice for like a uh, boot camp graduation. So mm-hmm. it was fun. It was just like a whole day of me singing, um, memorizing songs and stuff. So. so you must have been like maybe... Were you kind of like happy for the first time there in the Navy? Yeah, I was really, really happy. <laughs> wow. And um, there were days where people would receive uh, mail, mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. letters and stuff. <laughs> and I, I, I would only get one. It's from my brother. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody's like, wow, you got a letter. I'm like, yeah, it's from my brother. And all of them were just like, they have like a whole box of like goodies. And I have a fucking letter. But yeah, it's funny. <laughs> nice to your brother. Yeah. He sent you a letter. What a guy. How does it work? Do you go back home every something, um, like every month or something? Or no, you so just go? Boot camp is like three months. Mm-hmm. And you basically, you can't do anything. You can't go. You you can't, you can't even go like on Facebook or anything. Like mm. Mm. no computer, anything yeah. like that. Just training. Yeah. And then after that, then you get to take leave and meet your family. So what did you do during leave? Um, I didn't take it. Because, you just stayed on the base? Yeah, on on our graduation. So I had to perform, you know, like choir and stuff. Everybody's parents were like waiting for <laughs> the everybody. The same story, like, like the talent yeah. shows. Yeah. yeah. And it was time for us to leave. And I was like, fuck, I don't have anybody to hang out with. Mm. So it was that, that day after graduation, you get to go on dinner with your family or mm. your friends that visit you. But I didn't have anybody. So one of my good friends decided, oh, yeah, you can come with us. Mm-hmm. She was super sweet. Here. <laughs> so you her went mom with her was, family? Yeah, her mom was super sweet. I love her. <laughs> yeah. Uh, is that tough always being reminded of that? Like when you see all the friends and family or are you just kind of uh, used to it? Yeah, by now I'm used to it. But back then I was like, I get really like. It's very uh, uncomfortable. I yeah. mean, to say the least, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. It's very, very sad. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you graduate from boot camp and then mm-hmm. you, you take like, a, I don't know what's called, but I think you like sign a contract with the Navy and do like a service with them. Yeah. So I signed a four year contract with the Navy mm-hmm. and I, I did my full time. Um, yeah. I'm so happy because like the Navy taught me a lot of things. Mm. Like, you could be, like, the tiniest person in the room and you could still do, you could still carry, like, the biggest fucking submachine guns and stuff. But, um, yeah. Did you carry submachine guns? Yeah. What was your job in the Navy? <laughs> um, I was an aviation ordnance. Hmm. So, I had to take care of, basically, <laughs> any weapons that go into an aircraft. Mm. Wow, a yeah. weapons expert? <laughs> so wait, what was your job with the weapons exactly? Um, we take them apart and then oh. we clean them. The and then big we, ass like helicopter yeah. guns? Yeah. Whoa. Oh, wow. And then we put them back together and then we make sure they work for when the air crew or pilot decide to use them. And yeah, I also did like took care of like rockets. and. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. You ever nervous working around that kind of stuff? 
for the first time I was really nervous because I'm like, oh my gosh, how if, how if I drop this? Like, I don't want to like a big ass rocket or yeah. something. Yeah. And they used to make fun of me because like half of the things I would carry is like your my size. size. Mm. <laughs> so like, um, they would always make fun of me because I would always carry this. Uh, you guys know like a Gal Twenty One. It's like. A machine gun. Okay, let me pull up a picture. I want to see what that looks like. It's <laughs> yeah, called so, a GAU-21. Yeah. How do you spell it? Uh, G-A-U-21. Mm -hmm. And it's like... Mini gun. Taller than me. <laughs> so this was something that was um, on a helicopter? Like yeah, a, it's for a helicopter. Okay, here it is. Bro, what the fuck? Oh Look at the size God. of this thing. Yeah, so they would they would let me carry this, and this is like 90 pounds. It's like... Oh Why God. they do that to you? They're just like, fuck it, you're, everyone pulls their weight around here? They think it's funny, but oh, I still do it. With you. But I still do it. I'm like, yeah, I fucking got this. I might be tiny, but I fucking got it, you know? But and So were, yeah. you on, were you on a boat? Yeah. I was How was that? Ship, and... It was hard. At first, uh -huh. I had like motion sickness and stuff. Oh, being on I'd a be like carrying this gun. I would put this in my shoulder and like go through like a flight <laughs> of stairs, and <coughs> the boat would be moving. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it taught me a lot of uh, <laughs> courage. <laughs> oh god, yeah. that's hard work, man. And it would be raining, so sometimes it would be really slippery. Wow. Fuck. Yeah, it's giving me like <laughs> the memories. Or, yeah, I'm getting flashbacks. What kind right of now. aircraft were you on? Um, I was in a aircraft car aircraft carrier. Whoa! Yeah, I was in an aircraft carrier. It was it's pretty big. Um, you'd never actually get lost in it. I thought it. I thought you'd get lost in it, but it's very intuitive. You, yeah. Like like going around. How long yeah. do you spend at sea? Like um, six months. Wow. Out of the year. Yeah. Does that get claustrophobic? Or um, no, because it was also fun because we get to <laughs> hit ports. Um, I oh. went to Australia. Cool. Yeah. And so you can get off, enjoy it. Yeah. How long do wow. you get out? And like if you go to Melbourne or something, how long? Three to four days. Any of the countries that you visited, do you kind of like have um, a fondness for? I think Singapore was my favorite one. Mm. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It's so pretty. Mm -hmm. There's literally no trash anywhere. Really? They're like a wealthy country, right? Yeah. For, they have like oil or something. I don't know why. I don't know. <laughs> but I just know you're not allowed to chew gum or something <laughs> like that. Wait, is that the country right. where the where they the prime minister like murders drug dealers or is that the Philippines? I think that's the Philippines. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, is he he's the one that yeah, he says he wants to kill drug dealers and drug users. Yeah. Wow. That's the Philippines. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> um yeah, in Singapore it's so pretty and People are so nice. And yeah, that's my favorite one. So.